What's going on guys, Dan Watson, and I have been looking for a new backup solution for a while now. I have been using basically regular hard drives as my backup. So I have a several terabyte uh, RAID 0 system that I use as my primary working drive. And then I'll have that duplicated onto several of these. And what has happened is as I go through terabytes and terabytes of data from shooting for video, for, uh, for weddings and photos for weddings and everything like that, managing multiple computers, I have so many of these now that it's becoming so difficult to track which one is which. So when I need to grab an old project, it's becoming very difficult to know which drive it's on and also if that drive is backed up completely and what project is backed up where. And, that difficulty has led me just in search of a, a new option. I want something that's RAID 5 as well, so I know that I have each of these backed up as, with some redundancy in there as well. I also have an offsite backup, but this is for my site backup. I want something better than what I have here. And so I've been looking for a very large storage system for a little while now that I can basically have these things set up RAID 5 and have a good solid backup system with tons of terabytes of storage. And this is going to be my new solution. So I wanted to show you what I have here, why I have picked it, what I'm looking forward to, and how I plan on setting it up. And then we're going to have a full review on this Synology. Now this is the Synology Disk Station DS916 Plus. It is actually available with two gigabytes of RAM or eight. This is the two gigabyte version. You shouldn't need the eight unless you're handling many, many computers and things like that. So the two gigabytes should be perfect for you guys. And also these are about $550. So it's up there a little bit. They do have some cheaper options as well, but this is a very popular system. It's up there a little bit with, if you take a look at what this system can do, I think it's actually pretty reasonably priced. This thing has like an app store and all kinds of stuff that you can set this up. So before I get into this and open it, I'll tell you how I plan on setting this up. This is gonna be RAID 5. This will also be backed up to a cloud, most likely uh, Amazon Drive is what I'm gonna be using for this. And that's gonna get me this backed up. There's also gonna be an offsite backup as well for this unit. And that's how I plan on setting it up. So let's go into this. Now, one of the nice things is this is an NAS drive, uh, a NAS drive, so network storage and the nice thing about that is that all of my files that are accessible on this one I can actually access those from any other computer that I'm working with inside of my network as well as on the internet and they have a really nice system for being able to manage these and get these going so I'm going to show you what I've got in here now all of my drives you can order it independently of the drives I have it with the drives there is the unit itself. Now this bay will hold four drives and you can also expand it for an additional five drives if you want additional storage from that. Get rid of that now. Here's your power supply, all of your cabling, uh, ethernet cable as well, so that's nice. And your stash and another one. So this actually has two ethernet units on there as well as multiple USB ports for plugging this thing in. It's a good size square box, but it's not too massive. It should fit inside of any system that you've got now. And there we go. Check out the front, because I haven't seen it. It's a pretty nice looking system, actually. Uh, two fans on the back here, and I believe, too, we got the two network storage. We have two USB and an eSATA port as well. And that looks to be about it on that one. And I believe we have, yes, we have a USB on the front here as well as all of your lighting systems and your power systems for that. The front cover pops off and that is what reveals your drives right in here. So pretty nice system, pretty easy to change those out. And you have the cover on there for looking nice with that. And it's probably loaded up with the drives already then. So power cable, and let me see if I can pull out one of these drives and show you that. Okay, so I have 10 terabyte Iron Wolf drives that I'm gonna be using these things. These are from Seagate, they're their network storage, kind of their higher end series of drives. And uh, the reason why I'm going with 10 terabyte on this thing is that these have four bays. So for this one, I have three bays filled up with 10 terabytes. That's 30 terabytes worth of data on here and I can always add another one and get that without having to use the add-on for another five disk drive. So I think, this is going to set me up for the future to come and I'm going to be able to expand this as well. And again, I'm setting it up RAID 5, so I'm not going to have exactly 30 terabytes to use on that. And you can set it up in a different way of options for you. If you just, if you don't need speed at all, you could do RAID 1, but I like the RAID 5 because I want a little bit extra speed on that. So overall, it's a pretty nice looking system here. It's got all the features that I was looking for in 
a unit and some of the things that I like about it is you can use this for anything. So I'm going to be using it mostly for data storage, but you can use this as a media server. It has access to apps inside of it. So you can use things like Plex uh, to be able to stream your files. It has 4K, uh, be able to, to read out and push 4K files as well if you're using it for a media server. There's just so many uses that you can have for this thing and being internet accessible as well with the network is awesome. I'm gonna have some links in the description below, so check that out. And then the review unit will be, well, the full review will be up shortly. So stay tuned for that. I think this is gonna be a cool solution to having all of these drives here, 30 terabytes in one unit. These are at most four terabytes a piece. So I've got 16 terabytes here. I'm doubling that right here and I'm doing it with built-in redundancy inside the unit and the ability to go outline into a separate backup system. And it's doing it automatically. And that is a great system. You could even set up another one of these at an offsite location and have this directly back up to that because again, being a NAS drive, it can communicate directly over the internet with that system. I hope you guys find this as a good solution for some of your setups as well. I've been looking for a solution for a long time and backup is so important. So it's really key to get a good unit that you're gonna like. So stay tuned for the full review on this thing.